the sweetness part and the bitterness part of this life can make any man to miss eternity. You see, in this video you are watching right now, God has not judged the world yet. But you can see the power of flood. How the flood wiped away everything. As I was watching the video, I began to discover, I began to meditate the day of the Lord that is coming upon the world. Dear listener, remember the day of the Lord that is coming upon this earth. The Bible makes us to understand that everything will be destroyed. The Bible said that the day of the Lord is coming. The Bible said that the Lord is not slack to all his promises. But he is giving every man chance, giving every man time to repent. Because the Lord doesn't want anybody to perish. I remember the Bible said in the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9 to 11. The Bible said that the Lord is not slack like men do. But the Bible makes us to understand that he is giving us chance so that we all will repent. The Bible said that the day of the Lord is coming... The Bible told us that the earth shall be destroyed by fire. Everything in this world shall be destroyed by fire. This is an example of faith. You see the way flood destroy everything. Flood will carry every man. Flood will carry, if you are on the way, flood will carry you. Carry truck, carry building, carry mansions, carry bridge, carry all these things we are seeing right now. What about the day of the Lord that is coming upon the world? How many of us are living our life remembering the day the Lord is going to bring judgment? The day the Lord will minister judgment upon the earth. When was the last time you remember that the Lord will minister judgment upon the earth? We should not be carried away. After we might have solved all the problems of this life, and that is why I am crying so much about the church of Christ upon the earth. Because the church of Christ on earth, they, they are trying to abandon the work God sent them to do. I am not against charity work. I am not against helping the poor. I am not against building investment, having investment everywhere. Those things are wonderful. But I discovered that the church of Christ, if we all base on feeding the poor, if we all base on building mansions and doing roads, which is very good, but we neglect the spiritual thing, we neglect the main priority, we neglect the main thing that matters most. Jesus said to Martha, 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 thou hast been disturbed with many cares of this life, but that that matters most, you abandon it. And the Mary, your sister, have chosen that path, and no man will take it away. The Bible said that the day of the Lord is coming. Remember that all the mansions you build right now, as you are watching this video, you discover that the day of the Lord, they shall be destroyed like these ones you are watching now. Remember that all the cars you park somewhere, all the money you have, everything, the day of the Lord, it shall be like this. Look at how flood will wipe away everything. Look at how flood wipe away everything. This is just a natural disaster. It's not yet the anger of God. Though. What you are seeing right now is just a natural disaster. It's not yet the anger of God upon the earth. Because the anger of God upon this world will be more terrible than this flood you are seeing. You see the way a flood will carry human beings here? You see the way a flood will carry mansions you see the way flood carry bridges. You see the way flood carry everything, leveling everything. And the Bible said that everything will be destroyed. That was the reason why Apostle Peter was asking us, knowing fully well that in the day of the Lord, that all these things we are dying for, all these things we are laboring for, all these things we are crying for, all these things we are trying to steal, all the things we are stealing and engaging in robbery, engaging in wickedness in order to acquire on earth, the Bible said that the day of the Lord, that those things shall be destroyed. Where are the owner of these mansions now? All these mansions now, where are they? about these cars that flood carried where are those cars 
What about the human being, the flood or carry? Where are they? What about all the investment the people have already made in this locality now, in this vicinity? What about those investment, those millions of pounds and millions of dollars people spent in building this mansion? Where are those things? They have been destroyed. No one talk about it anymore. The Bible said that everybody will run from the face of anger of God on that day. In as much as we are asking God and the, believing that the Lord will solve all our problems in this life, I am not saying there is no problem. I am not saying that God will not solve your problem. But I'm saying that in as much as we are trusting God, believing God, having faith in God to solve all our problems, to meet up all our needs, we must understand that there is another need greater than those needs, and that is the salvation of our souls. The Bible says that if our hope is only in this life, we are of all men most miserable. If the reason of everything we seek God for, if the reason of seeking God, if the reason of just crying to God, engaging in fasting and prayer, if the reason of going to mountain and desert and valley is just to get cars and get mansion and just have money in, in millions and in trillions or billions of pounds and dollars and naira or euro and we neglect the salvation of our soul bible said that we need pity we need to be pitied remember the day of the lord remember the day everything we have on this earth will be carried away everything will be over God bless you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page so that you will be receiving all my updates. And join me in sharing this gospel. Forward this message to many people of your contacts. Remember, God will use you and I to save lives by sharing it. Comment and drop your opinion. May the peace of God and God of peace be with you. See you next time and bye for now.